Hey guys, what's up? It's Big Jack Films here. Uh, welcome to another one of these little videos. I figured I'd maybe keep these up and try some of these and see if you guys like it. Um, so, please forgive the crudeness of me being in costume. I was just filming a segment for the Empire Strikes Back review. Um, but basically, when I was coming down here to shoot today, I had some spare time to myself. I shot uh, a segment for Empire, and I was going through uh, a lot of the locations we shot for Kong. And I figured, hey, why not give you guys a little bit of a vlog tour of some of the locations, some of the places we shot uh, for the movie. So I'd say the first thing is obvious. Now, if you guys are looking here, you're probably thinking, is this where we shot the Triceratops chase? No, that's in another part of the woods somewhere. This is all down in my backyard. But um, this area here, as you can see, there's like a fort being built here. Was There was a scene where... Denim and Herb, uh, like, are getting away from the natives. The guys run through here, and then they crawl through here and hide away. Uh, you can see that in a lot of the behind-the-scenes videos. It was cut from the film, uh, and some of the deleted scenes and stuff. But that was all shot in there. Uh, there was some other stuff that was shot here. We're, we were currently shooting Tra Star Wars Trials of the Dark Side here, which is a fan film being directed by Joshua Botello. Uh, in terms of when that's going to be done, I have no idea. But yeah, let's just do this little vlog, this little walk and adventure. We're probably going to have to trek through some stuff uh, because there's a lot of muddy grounds here. And I'm just going to show you guys some of the locations we shot at for uh, Kong. So yeah. Uh, so I guess I'll talk about the story about what went on during the making of that film. Actually while we're here, this area here, as we can see as we walk in here, this is where the, there's a couple of jungle trekking shots where the guys are just going through the jungles of the island and I clearly Remember, when we shot this bit, I basically was standing right here, right? In this same angle. And the shot of them going trekking through the jungle, I said, action. And they just walked down this way. But yeah, and it's funny, in that take, they're walking through, and then somebody in the background was shouted, Oh, fuck! And it was super funny just going through the dailies, uh, listening to that. And we actually kept that in. So all this whole area was mostly just jungle trekking stuff, from my concern. Now, I've never been down that path, but maybe sometime we'll go check that out. But uh, for now, we're just kind of just going to go through here. Actually, hell, we can kind of make a shortcut, actually. Let's see if we can go through here. Yeah, here's more jungle trekking areas with shot in here. Just to make it look like Kong stepped through. Some of the original trees are still here. Yeah, actually, we can probably just cut through here. So I just got to be super careful. This is a little adventure. Ugh. So, when we made the film, I had, um, wrote the script in September 2010 in the span of a month. Actually, can we get through here? No, we can't really. We're gonna have to go around. So, I made the script in a month. I wrote it. A lot of it was based on the 1996 script that never came out. And I clearly made it because I had just visited Universal Studios in August of 2010 and rode Kong 360 3D. And realizing that the fan base was still there for Kong, the, the pop culture was still there for him, I figured, you know, I've got better tech, I've got better cameras, I got better equipment, screw it, I'm gonna remake the movie. And I wrote the script in the span of a, a month, and I prepped the whole thing from like September 2010 till, we're just gonna cut through here, till about, I'd say April, of 2011 and at the time I was finishing my last year in high school and I basically got a couple of my high school buddies to just come up for a weekend and we'd shoot this movie so it'd be kind of like it's kind of like Raiders of the Adaptation and yeah we shot this thing from from basically May of 2011 till October of 2013 that was the main principal photography and as we're coming up here this is interesting you guys are gonna love this um, there's a lot of great stories from this area of location. We have here this massive pond. Now, this pond is interesting because this is the same pond we use in the swamp scene. And it's a pretty good pond. Actually, this whole area here we're about to cross over is um, basically a giant beaver dam. Now, granted the beavers I don't think have been here in a while, but Basically, they keep the water in here. That's kind of cool. So we're just going to cross through here, so this is going to be a little dangerous. You can just 
cue up the Indiana Jones theme here. Da, 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 da. Oh boy, I fear I'm going to die. Um, ooh, okay. This is interesting. Okay, make or break. If I fall in, I love you all. Oops. Fuck it. Okay. Did we make it? Did we make it? Yes, we made it. Okay. So we're just gonna crawl through here and my headphones are stuck on these fucking leaves. See, I would go down that way, but unfortunately there's a big water pond area there, so it's a little swampy to get through. But yeah, we're just going through here. And we basically built the raft out of a 10 foot skid and we covered it in a hot tub lid to keep it afloat. And then I put some wooden shrubbery from all around here, laid it on the raft, put the actors on it, and basically we put them out there and they didn't know what the fuck to do. So um, what happened was we ended up uh, just shooting what we could the first day. And unfortunately, actually right down there is where Eric, poor Eric, Eric Hauser, lost his prescription glasses, he fell in, and he was pissed that day, and I was like, oh no. But, um, yeah, we the first day we shot there, the second day was a lot easier, because they got on it, I was able to direct them easier, because I was in the water, with a little waterproof camera filming this thing, which was fun. So, and also here, another famous location right here, is where we had, basically Herb's death was right there, Denim was here filming, the whole fist fight was shot there, and so on and so on. Now, those water barrels right there and this leftover wood was all that's left of the raft. We basically, we took it apart and all that's left of it now that actually floats in the water is here. And as you can see, it hasn't really aged well. Um, the skin is still afloat, like it still floats, it's still floatable. You can still go out there and like sail and stuff. But I basically took all, stripped away all the wood and all the tree areas because it was sinking when we were shooting, so I had to be careful with that. So yeah, it's all, basically all in here, what's left of like the wooden pieces and the original barrels, which were going to be water jugs, is what we used. So that's that location. But I actually overall really liked how that scene turned out. Um, actually right here, I actually set up a single camera and I put, I had one shot of the guys floating this way and another shot of the guys floating that way and I did a split screen composite that made that scene look like there were two rafts. Because we really only had one. We only, really only had one raft. And this area used to be like a swimming area and in the winter time most of the guys come out here and they ice skate. But a lot, this used to be a swimming area and there used to be a little swimming dock right there. We discovered that and it was completely wrecked and abandoned. Actually, there's a lot of abandoned stuff here, as you can, you'll can, you probably see coming up. Uh, you can hear the frogs, too, out there. There's a, down there, I don't know if you can see it. Down in there, let me see if I can zoom in. You can see through the brushes, there's two old abandoned cars that are in there that I don't know how long they've been there, but they've been here there since I've been here. I moved here around 2002. So I've been here for almost, for about 15, 17, 18 years, something like that. And yeah, now this is interesting. We're gonna come up here. As you can see, these locations are looking kind of familiar, really familiar. I'm just gonna take you over here, down this area. There were some deleted moments that were shot here, some more tracking stuff. Um, there's uh, all kinds of stuff here. But as we go through, I'm gonna take you over here now. Um, we go through here and right, in this very grassy location was the first day of shooting happened right here in May of 2011. And the first shot was angled right here and Jake was sitting down drinking a bottle of water. That was the first shot we did for the movie. And it was all shot in here. As you can see, it's starting to sink down a bit. But yeah, Herb came through here. We did the whole, you know, you walk out of a Carl Denham film, you walk on your career. It's like a POV of Denham here. But yeah, it was all... The first day was all shot in here, and it used to be a lot wetter in here, there used to be a lot more water, but that was the first bit we're actually shot here was the whole building the swamp. And I guess while we're at it, I'll show you another location, which was, we just kind of trekked through here, just kind of this POV kind of shit. Uh, yeah, as you can see, like my, my backyard, this whole movie was shot in my backyard, and 
it was pretty much a backyard film. And as you can see, I have a massive area of backyard, a huge area of land that I can shoot on. I can shoot anything I want down here. So, right here is, it's pretty much overgrown, but right in there was one of the logs we used in the log scene. There were two different logs. There was one way further down there, way a few, about a mile away. But then there's this one that we used in case we couldn't get to the full location. So we used this for a couple of shots. This was also used in my King Kong reviews where my character, Big Jack Films, goes on the log and encounters Kong. But that was all shot in there. But as you can see, it's really starting to grow with like swamp area because, you know, this is, this, this, the pond is starting to sink other areas of land in because of the water. But, yeah, so we filmed it from, from May of 2011 to October 2013. In those two years of shooting, we basically shot everything except Anne. That's because finding Anne was a real bitch. No pun intended. <laughs> but I was looking everywhere. My original actress was scheduled, but then she was working full time, so she couldn't. So my next option was, um, essentially looking on high school girls or something like in my high school that could help but unfortunately nobody was interested and out of desperation I basically turned to uh, Kijiji which is if you guys don't know what Kijiji is it's pretty much the Canadian version of Craigslist um, without the really bad stuff um, yeah we basically I basically put an ad on there and I discovered this woman by the name of Silvana Broodstra. She was in her like mid-twenties. She was older than us. And funny enough, we met at a Tim Hortons coffee shop. And how appropriate is that? Because that's just like in the original film when Denim found Anne. So I told her the information, said it was all volunteer, and she said, yeah, sure, I'll do it. And that's what happened. We shot the last year, 2013, was all shot with her stuff. Now actually, if we're looking here, this may look familiar because this is both the actual life-size set and the miniature set of the Brontosaurus Stampede was all shot in here. And we had several takes of the guys just running and I would follow them with the camera. It was all shot here. But then I also used this area as kind of the miniature kind of chasm. So I'd place the camera downwards and I would actually make it like go like that and then add the dinosaurs in later. So that's where that location was. Um... And yeah, so we shot all of her stuff in 2013, so it made it a lot easier. Uh, a lot of the wall, like the full-scale wall with the actors on set was shot in my basement, because my basement has a wooden structure, so it looks like an ancient wall. Uh, there were some other locations. Uh, we shot at the beaches in Lake Simcoe, uh, which is near like Keswick and Sutton, around Ontario. And that was all for the Skull Island beaches, and actually right here, it may not be as overgrown, but right here was where we shot the grass scene, the deleted grass scene where the guys are being chased by a pack of raptors was all shot in here. Unfortunately, it never made to the cut because we were originally gonna use actual raptor cosplayers. There was these, I know these two girls who made these incredible raptor suits and they would occasionally come to Anime North or something and I contacted them and I asked them if they wanted to be interested. They were interested, but unfortunately they couldn't make the timeline, so we pretty much cut the scene out. That's why it was taken out. But as you can see, yeah, they would start here and they run down that way. So, we wrapped filming. Uh, also, down past this graveyard here, there's a sand pit. That's where we shot a lot of the cliff face stuff. It's kind of in there. So like Kong on the mountain and, uh, you know, the, as wide shots of the actors kind of looking up. It was cool. Um, I can't remember if there was stuff, some stuff shot here. I think there was just some running away from the village shots here when Kong's attacking the village was right in here. Now, this whole area here, you can see, uh, we're gonna come up to it. There was some stuff shot here. There's actually another abandoned car right there. Look at that. Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, right there, you can see it, you know. The Duke boys weren't doing so well there. Um, but yeah, I remember there was a shot done here. And that was one of the scenes that was kind of cut, like one quick little shot we shot there. Now in here, this is interesting. This may look familiar, because this is pretty much the pathway from right out here would be the native village, but then we come over here. This would be the path between the village and the beach. 
Now, we shot several shots here. There were some scenes shot here of like the actors reacting. We used this set setup multiple times, but uh, because it's just a nice little pathway. So we used this multiple times of, you know, the actors running away from the natives and stuff like that it was cool. Um, and as we come over here, this is interesting. Uh, you'll see right down in here was several scenes were shot here. Uh, down there was where Jack and Anne kissed and Jack confessed his love for Anne was shot right there. And then as we come down here, uh, this may look familiar. This was basically the giant path. Uh, this is what we I call basically the battlefield uh, set. Like this is what I call battlefield park because it's just a wide open space and we shoot a bunch of fight scenes here. But actually here we also shot G.I. Joe Retaliation where the fight scene was shot here. Uh, there'd be some shots we originally had of the brontosaurus kind of, you know, pecking at the trees and stuff, and then they'd run down that way. Uh, now over here, as we come down here, there were several scenes shot, was this here was actually the Stegosaurus Glade, where the Stegosaurus attacks the group and uh, basically, you know, goes after them. And, you know, the actors would come through here, they see the Stegosaurus and the gas bombs and so on. Uh, a lot of that, there was two different scenes shot for it. We shot... We basically shot two scenes here. There was first thing we were going to use was the original Parasaurolophus scene, but that got cut, so we replaced it with the Stegosaurus and took what we shot and added it in. Uh, so we later came back and reshot it with the Stegosaurus stuff. But yeah, right in here was that, and there was also the scene where Jack and Anne make out was all shot in here. Now as we come over here in this little shrubbery area, uh, a couple scenes were shot. There'd be some shots of the actors running through here, but here is the campground. Uh, where after the Stegosaurus scene, the actors kind of walk through here and they get, and Jack contacts Bob and tells him to, you know, we're going to set up for tonight and do that. And the reason I picked this location was because if you look here, it looks like all these fallen trees you can see, it looks like just Kong through, just stomped through here. So I figured it was like the perfect location to shoot this was all in here. Uh, but yeah, we shot a lot of it in here. Uh, yeah, you just can see, look at that. Like that looks like a giant creature attack them. Um, now as we come through here, coming out here, this is also where Jack and Anne would run back to the wall, and this was also used for when the, after the Brontosaurus Stampede, as they're going through up the hill, you know, they're going down here and they would get to the log scene. Now, this is cool. As we come down here, this location here was used for when, in a deleted scene where Denim and Herb are filming the Brontosaurus out here, and they come charging towards them, and, you know, J J Denim's just like, oh my god, run. But down in here was the first bit of the Brontosaurus chasm, was all kind of in here. I figured it looked like an okay location, most notably because of these this hedge here. Um, but yeah, it kind of looks nice for the scene, so we shot a lot of that here. And it was all down there. Down there is where the Ankylosaurus is. Uh, the Ankylosaur was being hit with stones, was right in there. Now, right here, as we can see, it's kind of overgrown with shrubbery, but you can kind of see the outline. This was Kong's footprint, and it's still here. Now, I don't know if you can get a good detail, but you see how steep, how steep it is. That's because I dug a hole right here and placed the footprint here. Actually, there's the thumb. I just stepped in the thumb. But this is the old footprint that used to be here. We shot several scenes here. Uh, whenever we needed Kong's footprint, we shot Denim falling in. We shot Jack, like, looking here, taking a break for the uh, chasm, and he would look down here and see the footprint. But this was always our go-to Kong footprint was right there. Uh, there's some other sh scenes shot here. Um, some deleted bits of the Styracosaur was shot here, where, you know, um, Denim and the guys, like, find Kong and everything. And down here... There was a lot of running here. There was a lot of running. That's the one thing the actors complained about. There was just too much running in the scene. But yeah, right, if we come around, can we just go through here? Um, right, bam, right here. This is where uh, the Ankylosaurus was added in and the actors would throw stones at it. It was right shot in here. Just thought I'd give you a, bit, a, bit, a little bit of that trivia. So... Yeah, a lot of this is used kind of as a valley, in case we ever need it. I always like to reuse locations for my films. Um, again, I haven't used this one yet, but like down in the field is where we shot G.I. Joe. I want to shoot a battle sequence right there. That'd be amazing with a couple hundred extras right in the field. 
But yeah, you can tell, like, my backyard is like the, this, I basically live Skull Island every day. I do occasionally actually come out here and I go out for treks out in the woods. I occasionally bring like a, like some sort of prop gun just to pretend I'm like a jungle explorer or something. Was well, all shot here, but this is pretty much my backyard. I shoot my movies in my own backyard and it's amazing. And I have the biggest backyard imaginable. It's full of imagination and creativity. I always come up with good ideas when I'm around here. Now, as we come up here, you can see kind of zooming in right down in there. That's where Kong's Killing Grounds was. Was right on that hill, right there. And that was a deleted scene shot. And then here, this big hill, which is my neighbor's hill, was all the massive hill, steep hill scene where the guys are getting chased by the Carnotaurs and Herb almost dies there and they roll it down the hill. That was all shot there. Um, coming through there, right there is where, in that little corner, is where Anne was hiding away from the Tyrannosaurus. It was kind of like just like shooting, hold on, I'm just gonna zoom out here. Uh, it was like shooting multiple scenes in one location, which was interesting. Now, coming up here, you'll see here, this, in this area, was where the miniature wall once stood. The miniature wall was a massive piece of uh, fencing and stuff like that. And we placed it from here. You can kind of still see the outline where it all was. The gate was right here. It was right in here, the gate. And yeah, we had Bradley's Kong just crash through and destroy it. We had a little native village set up all through here with these little kind of wicker baskets applying as uh, um, basically native tents. And yeah, the miniature wall was all right in here. It's no longer here now because after uh, shooting wrapped, we tore it down. We kind of had to because it's just this one set. But interesting, I still keep a lot of props and leftovers in this shed. This is kind of my own shed. I keep most of my armory, my props and everything kind of in here for storage. Uh, but as we can see right here, these poles were what was used for the wall, uh, was used to support it. But yeah, it was eventually taken down. We actually burnt it down, which was, which was kind of cool. We burnt pieces of it. But yeah, there's no more cardboard or anything from that. Uh, quickly down here, as we can see, uh, a couple shots were done here. Up there on that hill was where the crew basically discovering the island goes down here and discovers the natives. Now, the native, kind of main native area was all shot in here, you know, this little fireplace kind of area. Uh, and we would pretend to have the natives out there in the distance, but in reality, the native stuff was actually shot at a local summer camp called Camp Kennebec. I went to Camp Kennebec for about 10 years. Uh, it, was an, it was a great camp, great summer camp for kids. And you know, eventually learning to take care of these guys. But basically, I, I kind of took advantage of their filming classes, their filming activities, and said, let's shoot some stuff for my movie. So that's what we did. We shot all the native stuff, all in the summer camp. Now, up here, there's not that much. This was kind of just a little break area. And up there, the last location, right there, that hill, this is my hill, essentially, um, is where we shot more of Herb and the guys climbing up the hill away from the Carnotaurus. horses. As you can see, it's a steep hill. During the winter time, this is great when we, uh, toboggan down here and like sled, it's amazing. But yeah, uh, that's really it. I just wanted to reflect on some memories from when we were shooting Kong. Uh, it's hard to believe it's been that many years since we started. And it's hard to believe that the movie right now is gaining like hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube. So I tip my hat off to everybody watching it. It was a mother load to shoot. It was one of the biggest projects I ever had uh, consumed in the span of six years and costing me $4,000. <laughs> So, I guess that's it guys. Um, let me know if you want to see more of these in the comments, uh, more of these kind of vlogs, these little walks. I'll have to think of a title for it. <laughs> Maybe like walk in the park or something, I have no idea. But, yeah, that's about it guys. Uh, tell me, what was your favorite scene in Kong? What was your favorite location? Let me know in the comments below. The remaster is coming. It's just been taking a while and I'm prepping it to be screened at a certain event, so. Until the next video, guys, I'm exhausted. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. This is Big Jack Film signing off, and have a great summer.